hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel in this video i am going to show you the main difference between regular schema and managed schema in snowflake in regular schemas the owner of an object that is role that has a ownership privilege on the object can grant further privileges to their objects to other roles so here the owner of object itself give the further privileges are grants to their objects to other roles in managers in managed schema the schema owner manages all privilege grants including feature grants on the object on objects in schema please note that here not the owner of the object schema owner manages all privilege grants including feature grants on objects in schema object owner retain ownership privilege on the data on the objects however only the schema owner can manage privilege grants on the objects to other roles but has no other privileges like uses select drop on the objects see play, please note that this is the main difference between regular schema and managed schema in managed schema schema owner will give the further privileges to other roles whereas regular schema owner of the object not owner of the schema that is the only difference in managed schema also object owner still retains ownership privilege whereas here also same only thing is that here privileges can manage the privileges and the schema owner doesn't have the privileges like you know uses select or drop suppose if you if i want to drop that object then managed schema by using the managed schema owner cannot drop only object owner can drop this is the main differences okay uh, between regular schema and managed schema let's see here by pictorial representation in regular schema assume that i am using the role sysadmin and creating the database called the test1 and create or replace schema this is the regular schema just create or replace schema i am using i am not providing any other parameters to create a schema this is the list i mean minimum syntax to create a schema in snowflake after creating the schema see here my schema created and owner of the schema is sysadmin role because we have created a this schema using sysadmin role now what i am going to do i am going to use the use role dev engineer fr dev underscore engineer underscore fr and create or replace employee please note that i am going to create this one as in this schema from this database only so here table has been created and the owner of this table is dev engineer fr now i am going to give the further privileges to other roles here using the same role dev engineer and grant select on employee to role analyst fr see statement executed successfully now what i am going to do let, let me try to give the privileges to other role by using the schema owner here schema owner is the sysadmin correct so when trying to give the use role sysadmin and grant select on test1 on schema.emp to role see sql compilation error does not exist and not authorized this is the about regular schemas now let's see same in the managed schema so to create a managed schema you have to use the here i am going to use the another database called test use role sysadmin create schema schema name here schema name is managed schema with managed access this is the keyword or class you have to use to create managed schemas in snowflake so here schema owner is sysadmin now i am going to create a table from this in this schema you by using role called dev engineer fr table created here 
and here owner is table owner is dev engineer now what i am going to do trying to give the privilege grant privilege to other by using the object owner here object owner table is the employee and object owner is the dev engineer so by using this role grant select on employee to role analyst fr the, we got the error earlier in the normal schema no error it got successfully but here this is a managed schema so sql execution error not authorized in managed access schema use schema owner role or role with manage grants privilege if you still want to give the you know privilege to other by using the dev engineer role or object role you have to have this manage grant as of now i didn't give the manage grants privilege to this role dev engineer role that's why we got the error sorry yeah now try to give the uh, you know select privilege by using the schema owner schema owner is the sysadmin role so use the role sysadmin grant select on test managed schema dot emp to role analyst fr so statement executed successfully in managed schema we can give the further grants to other roles by using schema owner not object owner this is the only difference between managed schemas and normal schema regular schema please note that in managed schema still you know owner of the table is okay owner of the table is the you know dev engineer role only okay let's see same in action here let me create the first uh, use role and uh, i'm going to create the database first if it is exist then i'm going to drop the database okay here regular schema i'm going to create the regular schema create a uh, replace database to create a schema first we need to have database so i created database now creating schema my schema okay now what i am going to do i am going to create a set of roles so to create a role i am going to use the security admin role here okay, statement executed successfully now i am going to create a three roles one is the dev engineer another one is the analyst fr and uh, uh, third role is the dev service elt fr okay these are the three roles i am going to create three roles have been created okay now i am going to switch from security admin to role sys admin okay the see if the moment when you create a, any role if okay so you have to assign you have to give the uh, in set up privileges to those roles to access the databases okay database which you have created so now these are the you know uses on the database uses on schema and create a privilege to dev engineer role these are the three privileges okay and also uh, another role dev engineer uh, dev service uh, el service eltfr uh, the reason why i am uh, creating uh, you know another giving the privileges to another role in real time you may have you know etl tool you may you may have a etl tool so you can create a set of objects by using the okay from etl so generally you know that is the application correct so for that we are going to give this different role called the service elt name could be anything but you are the developer and you you are going to directly log into snowflake and you can create a role for that you, you have a separate role and you, you are going to use the uh, etl tool and to connect internally from etl tool from etl to snowflake then in real time uh, most cases will use this another role okay that's why this is the dev service f elt fr and this is the analyst role only we are going to give the uh, read only whatever you are going to create a privilege uh, i mean tables so now what <clears throat> this role i mean we need to give the uh, you know 
a data warehouse usage and data warehouse then only they can uh, you know query the or you can perform any operations okay now what i am going to do uh, by using the security uh, again i am going to switch role over here security admin because we need to assign the these roles to particular users okay so here i am going to assign the all three uh, roles uh, roles to user called venkat and then again i am going to switch dev engineer to create a actual object now uh, if i see create or replace employee table okay till here let me yeah employee table has been created and i am going to show you the here schema let me refresh it so we have created a test one this is the database and my schema is the regular schema and if you see the regular schema who is the owner of the regular schema sysadmin and uh, for table owner is the dev engineer fr so now i am going to give the privilege to other roles by using the table first i will try to give the privileges using the table owner here table owner is the dev engineer so uh, we all, i am already using the dev engineer let me show you the select current role here and then see dev engineer fr so now i am going to give the select privilege on to this one analyst fr and all privileges on to dev service elt fr so first let me give the privilege to see statement executed successfully you can give it to any all grant all privileges to other roles now what i am going to do let me switch to role sysadmin okay sysadmin is not the owner of table okay employee table now i will try to give the grant select on test1 dot my schema dot em employee okay see here i mentioned the fully qualified for you you can the doubt because current database and current schema already there in here my schema only so let me first execute the this one see sql compilation error does not exist or not authorized and i will try to give from here also same same error okay now even if i try to select star from even we cannot drop we cannot uh, you know you we, we, you cannot drop okay so by using this role employee the, okay that we will discuss in the uh, regular uh, managed schema see that is about the regular schemas okay now we will jump on to managed schema okay in the managed schema also we are going to create a new database using this sysadmin role test here uh, uh, let me drop if already created yeah test drop and create database test and now i am going to create a managed schema to create a managed schema we have to use the with clause along with managed access keyword or clause okay so let me create this schema okay managed schema successfully created now we'll see the uh, you know database is test database and the schema owner is the sysadmin okay now what i'm going to do uh, uh, no need to create all the roles because we have created all the roles but however this is the new database so what i am going to do let me give uh, the uh, necessary privileges to new roles i mean roles which have been created as part of the uh, regular schema so i am switching from uh, you know role uh, sysadmin to security admin and i am going to execute all these uh, these things okay these are all not required because uh, you know already we have given and these are also already we have given so now let me switch to dev engineer to create a table okay uh, okay 
database uh, let me use the database because i switched from uh, one role to another role so now again i am going to use the database test and schema as the manager underscore schema now here i am going to create a table okay so the table has been created now we will see the which the owner of this table so manager schema yes schema owner is the sysadmin whereas employee is the dev, uh, for employee owner is the dev engineer fr now we will try to create and uh, now try to give access to using the owner okay see owner is the dev engineer now i am going to give the select privilege to other role okay uh, other role so other role is the uh, analyst fr so let me try to give this see now we got the error sql execution error not authorized in a managed access schema use the schema owner role or role with managed grant see use schema owner role schema owner role is sysadmin why we have to use the schema owner to give the select privilege to another role because this is a managed schema so in, inside the managed schema owner object of the owner of the object owner of the object cannot give the further privileges to other roles so for that what we have to do let me switch to role sysadmin sysadmin is the schema owner now i can give the grant privilege to analyst fr see now i can give the grant privilege now what i am going to do shall I, can i drop the uh, this table by using the sysadmin drop table okay employee see sql access control error insufficient privilege to operate on table employee to operate on employee because sysadmin is not the owner or ownership okay sysadmin doesn't have the ownership privilege so only this is a managed schema with the managed schema if you want to give the privilege to other roles okay you have to use the schema owner not object owner to drop object with the schema owner we cannot only owner of the object can drop or can see the data so now let me see the data by using the schema owner here. see inception privilege to operate okay this is the one okay. that is it. now let me switch to uh, you know uh, use role called uh, object owner object owner is the dev engineer so this is the role dev engineer role use role dev engineer role okay now we'll try to access this table see zero rows are there so and also we can drop this table Roll, okay. because owner of the object still hold the uh, you know uses ownership and drop but not schema owner yeah that's it from this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel click bell icon for notifications like it and share it to your friends thank you once again